Hello, beautifuls. With the divine masculine is thinking about the divine feminine. Okay. We have the Ten of Wands popping out. Okay, so I feel like they want to release some stress or get rid of some type of stress. Like, they feel like something is causing stress within the relationship or just in general here. We have the Ace of Cups. Yeah. New feelings. So this is either you expressing yourself to them or them expressing themselves to you. Okay, in one way or another. We have the Three of Swords. I really feel like the Divine Feminine has been speaking her truth, speaking her mind. And he's reflecting on that energy. We have the Ten of Pentacles. So it's like he wants to um, come forward towards you, like literally. We have the Wheel of Fortune here. We have the Strength card and the Four of Cups. So, yeah, they aren't telling you, like, literally that they feel, like, in despair or down and out about you guys. Okay, so if there was, like, a separation, they are going through some, like, bereavement type of energy. Okay, because of a separation. We have the Page of Cups and the Temperance. So I feel like Spirit is like urging them or nudging them to go back towards you. We have the Five of Wands. So I feel like they got into um, a disagreement with the karmic about you, if there is a karmic involved. They got into a disagreement with the karmic about you, the one for them. Okay, we have the High Priestess, the Knight of Swords, the Queen of Cups, the Moon card, and the Ace of Pentacles. And I'm literally seeing two, two, two. So there's a lot of secrets coming out, especially if there's a water sign feminine involved and an air sign masculine those are the energies okay we have the devil here uh, we have the moon card here the ace of pentacles yeah so something is definitely being revealed we have a fire sign divine masculine here as well this fire sign divine masculine is trying to creep up on you okay make a sudden sudden appearance seven of swords Okay, there's a betrayal. Either get away, let me clarify. Clarify the Seven of Swords. Clarify the Seven of Swords spirit. The Empress. Oh my God. So their mother could be playing a role. And I'm seeing through the their mother could be playing a role in a betrayal involving a karmic. Wow. Yeah, that message is definitely for someone. The mother, their mother is involved. We have the emperor here. Their father could be involved as well. This is like somebody's actual story. Like this is going on somewhere. We have the Knight of Swords. The Moon card, yeah. Definitely some secrets coming out for sure. Somebody was backstabbed, okay? A Leo could be involved as well. The Justice card, the Ace of Pentacles. Some big money is coming in. So if you've been like missing some money or something, like some big money is getting ready to come in. Um, Ace of Pentacles, okay. Um, this is some money that was owed to you with the Justice card. I'm literally seeing 444. You may have been waiting on something. It's coming in, honey. But I'm hearing the big bang. Okay. Two of, two of Wands.
King of Wands. Uh oh. Ten of Wands. King of Swords, the devil. This could literally be a gay couple that tunes in and watches my channel. Um, if you guys are a gay couple, it's um, a fire sign, divine masculine, and an air sign, divine masculine. Some secrets are being revealed between them, between you guys. If you are a gay couple... That um, air sign to my masculine is cheating on you. I'm just letting you know that right now. That that air sign to my masculine is a cheetah. Mm -mm -mm, honey. Okay, and I'm literally seeing five, five, five. Let me keep going. Okay, the divine masculine at work. We got three of pinnacles, three of swords, the high priestess. You could see something coming. Okay, it looks like if you, I know this is so bizarre, but if you work with your Divine Masculine, you could be getting a significant raise at work. Like you could be getting a raise coming up. We have the Five of Cups, Ten of Pentacles, the Hermit, and the Devil. Okay, they're reflecting on how they made a false move. They feel like they... um did something to disappoint you if you work with your divine masculine. They feel like they did something to disappoint you on the job and it's hunting them literally with the devil. And the king of swords reverse. Also, the one you work with is planning on fixing a situation with you. Okay? Bringing you justice, okay, literally, and I'm seeing 7-Eleven, okay, so let's go back to the general, the high priestess, four of wands, page of swords, ace of wands, three of swords, Six of, six of cups. Okay, what I'm getting is like, as soon as you decide, you know, I'm about to be done with you. I'm, I feel like the divine masculine is going to be coming in with an entire cup of love, like trying to be there for you, cater to you, sweeten you up somehow, like just be there for you, like to the point of no return. That's the energy. Yeah, Ten of Pentacles. King of Pentacles. An earth sign of my masculine may come in suddenly and leave suddenly and then come right back. That's the energy. And also, an earth sign of my masculine is like highly addicted to you if you're dealing with one. Let me see. Page of Cups. Eight of Swords. A narcissist divine masculine or a narcissist masculine is mad because you're not responding the way you normally would. I feel like they set a trap for you and you didn't fall in it. It's kind of like they fell in it. That's the energy. So with that being said, talk to you soon.